In this video, I want to talk about what is lupus disease, uh, symptoms, and how to eliminate it. Uh, before I get started, down below in the description, there's a link, and if you do click on it, I'm giving away a free video guide on supplements, alternative medicines. Now, one of the most important uh, jobs that our body has is to protect us from harmful things like germs, viruses, bacteria, pathogens, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that's why as soon as we die, our body decomposes because there's no immune system. So germs get in there and they eat away, yum, 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 and we disappear, really. Now, if our immune system gets a little confused and attacks the good guys, like healthy cells, healthy tissues, this is known as lupus disease. And, of course, it leads to inflammation. Um, it leads to damaged cells and tissues. Um, and it's not very good, really. If there's lupus on the skin, it's a little bit easier to detect uh, because there could be like a, a round a rash, maybe on the forehead, a round rash. If it's in the cheeks, you might see it. It could be in uh, any part of the body, really. And it may be associated with some joint pain, uh, joint discomfort like that. Um, if, lupus, if lupus affects organs, it's known as SLE, and, and symptoms are a little bit tougher to detect. Uh, it could be like fatigue, uh, fever, there could be joint pains, weight loss, uh, swollen glands. In fact, a lupus is sometimes known as the great imitator because it imitates other health problems like, say, diabetes, arthritis, uh, maybe thyroid problems. Uh, so really, the only way to know, to really know, is to kind of get some tests done, really. Um, so lupus sucks. We know that. And the million dollar question, which we all want to know, is you know, how do we you know, stop our immune system from attacking us? And how do we, do we, do we eliminate this, this, this problem uh, that some people suffer from? And one idea that may sound a little bit, a little bit crazy, a little bit off, is actually uh, meditation. And there's some proof that it actually can help. In, in a study in the National Library of Medicine, they actually took 30 people with lupus. Um, and half meditated every day for about six months. The other half did not. Uh, the result was the group that meditated actually showed a trend of benefits in reducing sympathetic overactivity, which is really the flare-ups. Um, and improvement in quality of life. And I know this is not like a miracle cure, but hey, that's an improvement. It doesn't cost any money to meditate. There's no nasty side effects like there is with prescription drugs. So that's, that's good. That's a, that's a good thing. Another idea which is a little crazy is lavender oil because um, there's proof that it helps with anxiety, stress, and that is a contributor to flare-ups um, of lupus. It also helps with sleep. And I know that because I use it a lot and it helps me. But there are some studies, I'll show you a study. Uh, there's 50 hospitalized patients. Um, half took three, uh, uh, three mLs of 100% pure lavender oil, the other half did not. The conclusion was the group that took that lavender oil actually had better sleep um, than the group that did not. So there's proof that it does help with anxiety, stress, and sleep. And I have to talk about omega-3. I talk about omega-3 in many videos because it helps with so many health problems and a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, believe it or not, Harvard did this big old study and they think that a lack of omega-3 is the sixth reason for death in America. Seems profound, but it just affects so many different areas of somebody's health, including lupus. Um, and I'll give you, of course, a study about that. Uh, there's a study with 52 patients uh, with lupus and they did like a six-month study uh, some people took a fish oil supplement uh, some some of the people took a copper supplement and some took a placebo the copper didn't do anything but the group that took the placebo uh, excuse me the, the group that took the omega-3 supplement showed in, improvements in inflammation uh, fatigue which is really uh, what a lot of people suffer from with lupus and they complain about that um, and of course overall quality of life and the improvements were anything from mild to drastic in the group that took omega-3. So that, those are a couple of ideas. Another one is, of course, diet. Uh, there's many ways somebody can reduce inflammation by staying away from processed foods, trans fats, eating more real food, fruits and vegetables. They can help a ton with lupus. Um, and obviously, you know, when it comes to fish, uh, omega-3, 
the best thing really to take is omega-3 supplement because you know fish has contaminations and mercury and you get a lot of really good stuff in omega-3 but the key is what do you look for there's DHA there's EPA what about contaminations uh, what about toxins and luckily I created this whole uh, video guide that really shares a lot of tips on shopping for supplements which I think could be very beneficial and helpful um, I even compare products back to back I share my ideas on what I like I go over you know DHA EPA I, I go over herbs I even go over alternative medicine for a variety of health issues and you know I, I've got a lot of great feedback from it it's completely free um, so I really think you should check it out you'll learn some things you might be entertained and you can learn more about this free video guide I created by just clicking on the link uh, below the video um, that I made for you there in the, in the bottom. Anyways, I uh, hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. And have a very uh, just enjoyable rest of your day. Uh, take care. Bye.